Welcome to the Catholic High School League Winter Coaches General Meeting video. This video is intended to cover general information that applies to all coaches. This video is intended to replace the in-person meeting we have had in the past. There will be opportunity for you to submit questions at the end of this video. Always know that the Catholic High School League office is here to assist you. Thank you for coaching. Catholic High School League is able to provide top-notch athletic experiences for the student athletes in part because of our wonderful corporate sponsors. When you have the opportunity to use their services or products, we ask that you at least discuss your needs with one of our many sponsors. The table of contents at the front of the information booklet is provided to you as a quick reference on where to locate particular information. We suggest you save the information booklet in its electronic version on your cell phone as a home screen icon. There are two calendars in the book. The first is your yearly calendar. The second is the MHSAA quick reference calendar. Lastly, there's a calendar specific to our winter season. Please know that dates are subject to change. If and when a date is changed, your athletic department will be notified. This past May, members of the MHSAA Representative Council met to decide on changes for this current 2021-22 school year. Included in the book is a summary of the changes. One major change applying to all programs is the requirement of all head coaches of JV and freshman teams must have a valid and current CPR certification. This rule is effective August 1st, 2022. Sport-specific changes in bowling, competitive cheer, and wrestling can be found in this section as well. Please read a section related to athletic recruitment prior to having contact with a student athlete that is not a student of your school. This section includes the MHSAA quick reference for sport-specific transfers. If your particular situation is not covered in the readings, then contact your athletic director or the league office prior to having any contact with any parent or student athlete not enrolled in your school. Ignorance is not a defense for an MHSAA violation. As always, there's a allowable dates worksheet. We suggest that you use this when you map out your entire season to ensure you do not play too many contests prior to the CHSL or MHSAA tournaments. All student athletes are required to have a physical on file for this academic year, 2021-22. Again, all student athletes must have a physical on file prior to tryouts or any other form of participation in a winter sport. In the book, as always, is a preseason section. One of them is a checklist for things that you should go over prior to the start of your particular season. Another is a sample parents agenda. This can be used and should be used at your preseason meeting. Please note that there are extra reports in this booklet. You need to fill the form out every time there is any type of entry. Remember, when in doubt, fill it out. Also know that there are insurance policies in place by both the MHSAA and the CHSL for student athletes. These policies are in place to provide coverage in the event of an injury. The policies are time sensitive. Please work with your athletic department on providing families with the appropriate forms. Scholarships and awards for the Catholic High School League can be found at the back of the book. The Don Duchesne Senior Foundation Scholarship Form is included in this information book. The award is based on a student in financial need to pursue their post-secondary educational dreams. If you know of a student in need, work with your athletic department to see if they're eligible. Despite COVID-19, we were able to still award our 2020 21 Scholar Athlete Awards. While we were unable to have a banquet, 
we were able to honor the nominees and winners at Comerica Park this past spring. This award is given to the student athlete who demonstrates educational success, participated on the team, and volunteered in their community. Start to identify seniors who best represent your school community and encourage them to submit their application to your athletic department. We've reached the end of this video. On behalf of Vic Michaels, Davis Feldman, and myself, Mike Eboy, we'd like to wish you the best of luck this upcoming season.